What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we finally had time to digest uh, Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble back to back years. But I actually wanted to have this conversation with some of y'all, man, because I've been seeing a lot of interesting things on social media regarding to Cody Rhodes winning back to back Royal Rumbles. I'm seeing a lot of people all of a sudden saying, oh, this was predictable. We knew Cody was gonna win. When in actuality, I didn't see really too many people on social media talking about Cody winning the Royal Rumble. In fact, I saw a lot more people saying CM Punk was gonna win the Royal Rumble or Gunther was gonna win the Royal Rumble. And I was one of those people that initially thought CM Punk was gonna win it and then Cody was gonna have to find his way to get into the Elimination Chamber to win that or the teases they were having with Gunther coming out to confront Seth Rollins. I was thinking maybe they pull a swerve and give it to Gunther because if anyone else deserves a win in a Royal Rumble, it would be Gunther. But surprisingly, um, I didn't see Cody winning back to back. That was the that was the one option I, I really wasn't expecting. Granted, initially, um, once CM Punk came back, I was like, yeah, I don't see them giving Cody the back-to-back -back wins but i was surprised so it's very interesting to see a lot of people on social media saying oh i knew cody was gonna win i knew for a fact and maybe some of y'all did but i don't remember seeing a lot of y'all having that conversation i saw a lot of people talking about cody going to the elimination chamber and winning there to have the opportunity to face roman so hell there were some people saying the rock was gonna win which i I figured that wasn't going to need to happen because The Rock doesn't need to be in there to uh, to face Roman Reigns. That can happen on its own without him being in a Royal Rumble. So it's very interesting now that Cody has won. So many people are saying that this was predictable. We knew this was going to happen. I don't think y'all did. I, I don't I, I feel like there's a lot of people that wanted CM Punk to win and they felt some type of way that Cody got got the win here. But in my opinion, I don't have a problem with it because it it assures us that we're not going to get Roman versus uh, The Rock. It assures us that Cody will be main eventing night, night two. I do think The Rock will be involved in some capacity since he's been mentioned and he brought up Roman uh, Roman Reigns indirectly. You know, so I do feel like that's going to happen. I think he's going to be the catalyst to help Cody overcome the bloodline and it'll be a, a um an interesting way to start off the roman and the rock feud which i do think they'll extend all the way to wrestlemania 41 but it's just very weird all of a sudden now people a lot of people i've seen on on social media are really not liking this and granted granted it's fine you you're entitled to your opinions i just remember a lot of people when cody initially lost last year there was a lot of people that were disappointed, a lot of people that were like, you know, kind of over Cody's story and, you know, they felt like, damn, it should have happened then. And there was, some, uh, there was a lot of people that maybe had a little bit hope that maybe they could stretch this out and maybe we can get the rematch. I don't know. But it's very interesting to see now all this dissension of, nah, we knew Cody was going to win. No, nobody was talking about that. In fact, I asked people in our chat uh, last night for the live stream, who did y'all think was going to win? There was a, a small select few that said Cody, but mostly everyone was saying CM Punk or Gunther. A couple different names here and there, but it was rarely Cody. And I'm okay with this because, like I said before, this assures us that The Rock and Roman's not happening at this year's WrestleMania, which I was one of the people that didn't want that to happen. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, wow, The Rock's going to take Cody's spot. That's what I was seeing when The Rock had announced, you know, wanting to sit at the head of the table. I saw a lot of people on social media saying, oh, now The Rock's going to take Cody's spot. Now Cody wins. And then it's like, oh, we knew this was going to happen all along. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fickleness. And we've, we've seen it all the time in uh especially with wwe fans and wrestling fans in general the fickleness the same people that are sitting up there complaining that cody won again are the same people that wanted him to finish his story or the same people that wanted him 
to be in Elimination Chamber. I've even seen a lot of comparisons from when Shawn Michaels was in the Royal Rumble and he wanted to get back to wrestling The Undertaker and he lost in that Royal Rumble and he just became obsessed with trying to face The Undertaker to beat him. He he even super kicked uh super kicked uh what was his name the general manager of smackdown uh teddy long he super kicked him in the face because he wanted to be in an elimination chamber to face uh the undertaker and it didn't happen so he had to take matters into his own hands people were comparing that story to what cody's gonna go through he's gonna lose he's gonna go down his manic road he's gonna find a way to get into the elimination chamber to finish the story i've seen people talk about that and i thought that was a good good little story idea but they decided to go somewhere different and i think people may not realize during the match at the end cm punk blatantly said where the cameras can hear hey i didn't wait 10 years to lose to dusty's kid that was such a heel like remark because he felt like he knew he had it in the bag and if you listen back to the reaction there were a lot of people that were booing. Not a lot, but you could hear the boos. This is the first time we really heard some boos from CM Punk. And then Cody wins. And once again, I'm, I'm going to put this in perspective. A lot of the people that be talking just craziness on social media, those aren't the people that's buying tickets to go to WrestleMania. I can tell you this right now. When the main event happened at this year's WrestleMania, and we get to night two, Roman versus Cody, I promise you this, the crowd is going to go crazy for Cody. Everyone's talking about, oh, this was predictable, all this other stuff. I'm telling you this now, the crowd is going to go crazy for Cody because I think the people that are paying money to go to WrestleMania, they want to see Cody be crowned the new champ. They want to see Roman finally get defeated. And that's the moment that they're, they're trying to create. Simple. So the people that are on social media saying this is predictable, this is trash, all this other stuff, you guys are not going to be the ones paying tickets to go watch the show, to watch it live, to see this happening. It's going to be a great moment. He's the most over babyface in WWE right now, still. The question is how they're going to build this up, how they're going to incorporate The Rock into this, because I do believe He's going to have to be an integral part because they can't go the same route they did last year. The bloodline is going to have to be neutralized, and it's probably better for it to be neutralized by The Rock himself to set up another feud, which I think is going to be some great storytelling. They did the job for Cody. Well, you know, they Cody did the job for Roman last year. It's now time for Roman to return the favor and do the job for Cody. Simple as that. We don't need the Roman to hold the title all the way to break Hulk Hogan's record. No, I think it's it's done. The title reign has been stretched to its limit. We saw it last night with that fatal four-way. The match could have been put on SmackDown and would have probably got the same type of reaction. Was it entertaining? Yes, but we knew how it was going to finish. We knew what was going to happen. It was a fatal four-way. No rules. Solo's going to get involved or Jimmy's going to get involved. We knew this. There was nothing that they've gotten to that point. There's nothing else they can tell with Roman other than he's beaten everybody with the help of Solo, Jimmy, or insert bloodline member. I think that story is done. The story now is can Cody finally overcome the odds here? And that's it. So everyone's entitled to their opinion. I just find it very weird that so many people are saying this is predictable. When weeks leading up, I didn't hear anybody saying Cody was going to win again. All I heard was CM Punk and Guther. And they didn't win, so now it's predictable. I don't, I don't think it is. Me, I was surprised. I was never a person that thought Cody was going to win. Hell, I didn't even prefer him to win. I thought it would have been better for him to win at the Elimination Chamber and give that moment to CM Punk. But at the end of the day, they decided to go this route, and I'm okay with it. Because it for me, it solidifies the idea Roman and The Rock is not happening the way we intended it. They're not going to main event WrestleMania. They're not going to take that spot from somebody else. He's going to be involved, but we now know the main event for night two, without a doubt, Cody 
Roman, finally, Cody finishes the story. Finally, Roman gets the throne, and we can move on to other feuds into the future. So, y'all comment down below. Let me know. Am I the only one seeing this all of a sudden on social media now? Everybody thought Cody was going to win when literally a couple days ago, there was barely any people people saying Cody was going to win. I just I find it very interesting. It's 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 the wrestling fan base. Boys can be super fickle when their individual they thought was going to win doesn't win. You know, that's just my personal opinion on it. Y'all let me know if y'all been seeing that as well. I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm seeing you on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.